So this is the plan. As we speak, the Rotec High Council members are briefly splitting apart from each other for purposes that are unknown. But this is our opportunity to strike. Let me give you a rundown about each council member themselves. All right, so let's first start off with the man who created what's inside your brain, Magnus Brittman. He's the closest to Brahmin out of all the High Council. Unlike the other members, Magnus doesn't have any special abilities to possess. He's just really smart and leads the scientists supreme in the Rotec chain. Brahmin trusts him most with almost the whole council and is more likely to be the hardest we take down. This is due because the guard men treat him like they treat Brahmin. Also, I betrayed him so he's gonna want payback. Next up, we have the master mind control, Valdosa. Valdosa is the youngest member, least loyal, also Brahmin's least favorite. Uh, she has a lot of attitude towards the company, uh, you care less about the current state of Rotec, and she's really only useful for a mind control for Rotec itself. Now we're here to Spencer Luciano, the man can control any type of technology with a simple touch. He's the quietest one in the group, and he doesn't make much communication outside the meeting room, so his death shouldn't be a major deal to Brahmin. Mariah Flagg, the strongest in the group. She's the one who does the business side of things for Rotec in service of Brahmin. So she's the hitman. She's not afraid to get her hands dirty. She knows how to fight. Her size is also used as an advantage in her favor. She might be the most difficult to find, as she has heavy security due to her knowing the majority of Rotec. I'm gonna be honest with you, you might have to use weapons to fight her, because I'm not sure how you'll be able to deal with her hand to hand, no matter how strong the Liaki nanobots have made you. Here's the man himself, the head shaman of Rotec, as well as the kingpin of the city, Brahmin. He's the man we're taking down last, so he can continue to see his high council die off one at a time. I can't tell you much about him, because in all honesty, no one knows how the man works or even seen him, except his guardman. You've got to make him pay for everything he's done to both me and you. So. That's the rundown. What do you think? <laughs> what do I think? <sighs> this is crazy, Nico. Oh, very much so. And that reminds me, I have a costume for you that was designed in the lab. Costume? <laughs> S slow your roll. I'm, I'm not wearing tights. I thought I told you I didn't want to wear tights. Oh, come on. Don't think of it like tights. Think of it like a suit. A really tight suit. <sighs> Whatever. Let's do this. All right, then. I'm going to send you the coordinates to the facility through Bluetooth. We're going to keep in communication through my headset, your head. The nanobots allow me to do that. I'm going to hack into Spencer Luciano's facility. I have all the codes to any Rotec facility on the grid. This shouldn't be hard. All right, um... How we get in there? You'll be transported through vehicle. I'm driving. You're kidding. So you're telling me that we're gonna pull up to some super secret hideout, blah, like it ain't nothing, and we're gonna expect not to get spotted or on the way there? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. All right, boys, we have a visitor. Tighten up security, and when he comes at you, fight to capture it, not to kill. Do you understand? Shit! He spotted us. How do you know? Like you said earlier, he controls technology. I can sense him going through my coding right now. Okay, okay, okay. Well, go back to the apartment, come with a more thorough plan, 
Okay, go to plan attack. Okay. Hey, hey, where, where are you going? your bed A-17, it's time to lay in it. You got multiple guards in your area. You're not gonna get past them easily. Here, boys. Subject A17, the man who's killed many of your brethren. I'm taking you down, Luciano. Oh, please. You don't get it, do you? We are Rotec. We aren't just simple beings you can punch. You take down one of us, three more will rise and take their place. Rotec has many hidden abilities, some you don't even know of yet. What do you think about that? I think you talk too much. Let's get this over with. Boys, get him. A-17, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> 
Nico! What the fuck is happening? Seems as if he really did download your coding into his mind. Hit you with a lethal injection code. It's sort of like poison going through your body. It was downloaded just in case you ever tried revolting. How do I make it stop? You're gonna have to just fight through it, man. <sighs> Now, sir, it's not as bad as it may seem. Are you kidding me, Magnus? Your little experiment and your scientist supreme, who became a traitor, just killed one of our high council members. Spencer is dead. Didn't you know that was gonna happen? Well, from what I recall, I remember you said you wanted to wait until Subject A-17 rose to the surface, and, well, until then, we were supposed to continue on with our lives and. Well, uh, pretend your best friend's little failed experiment was never made. I am well aware of what came out of my mouth, woman. I am at my ends with you and the disrespect you show me. I have you all know. This was expected. Magnus, I apologize for my behavior, but you must understand that, that I cannot run a business while we have a man who has made his motives to kill the High Council. Therefore, I have called in someone who can take care of our issue. Jacob! Sir, that was the traitor's right-hand serviceman. He should know where the traitor is as well as Subject A-17. Enough, Mariah. I talked to him already. He said he was taken to the facility that the subject had broken out of by the Scientist Supreme, and that the subject had him sedated. I also had the PSI team read his mind. He is telling the truth. Jacob, go get him. What's next, boss man? 